Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the UUO brand. This is their 1080p projector. This is the model P6. Now let's go over some of the features. Then we're going to show how to get this set up and all the, to make the keystone adjustments. And we're going to test this out because it has a lot of features on it. What you see in front is what comes with the projector itself. It has a grounded US plug on there. It comes with a remote control and a sensor for right there. And the transmitter is there. You have to provide your own AAA batteries. This is an audio video in. So that's going to plug into the projector and you could put audio right and left and video in right there as the most basic way to connect to this and it includes a nice heavy duty shielded HDMI cable and an instruction booklet telling you how to operate it. Now let's go over some of the features here. I'm going to describe some of the features. It is native full HD 1080p. So that's good. That means that, uh, you know, a lot of broadcasting uh, companies like Comcast, uh, they broadcast at 1080p. So that means that the native resolution of this matches that. So that it's not upscaling or doing anything electronic. That's, that's a sign that it's, it's got high resolution. There are other 720p projectors out there. And what also is nice about this projector is it'll handle 4K data on that HDMI port. And it'll handle the Dolby format that's also sent along this HDMI cable. And it has a contrast ratio, theoretically, of 8,000 to 1. And that's the difference between black and white. That's the ratio. So that's a pretty decent number. Now it has dual fans inside. And they're on adjacent sides and they keep the noise level down to 40 decibels and if this ever overheats and goes above 158 degrees Fahrenheit it will shut the light off to prevent damage to the light and because they're doing that that efficient cooling this projector bulb will have a lifespan of 50,000 hours because this is not a quartz bulb this is a LED and that's a, if you're using this six hours a day for 15 years, it would last that long. That's pretty impressive. Now this has Keystone plus or minus 50 degrees. We're going to measure that. And that allows you to have your projector not directly in line with your screen or your wall. It allows you to have this skewed so that you could have it on an adjacent table, let's say. So that's a nice feature. That's a, that's a very big Keystone adjustment. They usually don't have that large of a Keystone adjustment. It has a focus wheel on here to change the focus. This is the cover that we're going to remove. And the focus wheel is on the side here. And you can see the lens going in and out. Now, none of these projectors have zoom. So the zoom is you move the projector forward and back from the screen. And just to give you an average distance, if you were 12, 12 and a half feet away, it would produce a 120 inch diagonal. So 120 inch diagonally, if you are physically from this lens about 12 and a half feet away. And then if you go closer, the image gets smaller and further, the image gets larger. And of course, you got your focus and you have your keystone to adjust those angle differences. And we're gonna test that out too. Now on the back of this, we're gonna show it has two HDMI ports, one audio video where you use this cable. It has a VGA port a USB data port and also a 5 volt USB port that you can charge your mobile phone if you're streaming with it or whatever device needs 5 volts on USB it has that too and an SD card interface and it has a headphone out so you can use headphones now this is compatible for screen mirroring it's compatible with Fire TV stick 4k Google Chrome and Apple TV now the company UUO provides a full three-year warranty and full customer support using the message system on Amazon. 
So, I took the cover off. Let's take a look, close-up look at some of the other features here. Now they include a remote. And it's very simple. The manual shows that. It's got, you know, back button, fast forward, reversed, track changes, source, menu, mute. We're going to check those out and volume. Now it has a little slot right there on the side and you just use your nail and open it up and then you install your AAA batteries in there with the spring on the negative of the battery just like that and then it goes back in place and you press and it locks in place. Now the focus I showed, I'm going to show again, you see the lens moving in and out and there is a nice oversized wheel we're going to put an extra light on it here the flashlight and you could see right there that you could just rotate that and that changes the lens and there is a manual keystone adjustment there's a little lever right there and you could raise and lower that and it has limitations here it only goes a certain amount up and a certain amount down on the top of the projector it has the main power switch and it has an OK button and right arrow, left arrow, and down arrow, and up arrow. So it has the basic controls and you're going to want to probably use the remote to make it a little easier. This being an air port to let the air flow go through. And if we rotate this, there is another air flow port right there. And now let's look at the back of the unit. And there is a speaker right there also. So looking at the back we have VGA input, we have USB that's data port, that's USB 5 volt port to power other devices. That looks like an infrared sensor so that the remote works in the front and the back. That is headphone out and that's audio video input where you're going to put that included cable. That's the power right there you're going to put your power cable and there is a fuse that could be replaced right there if you blow the fuse. Going to the side of the unit, there is the SD card port right there and two digital HDMI inputs, HD1 and HD2. On the bottom of the projector, it has four rubberized white feet, as you can see there and there. And it also has this little adjustment wheel that you could turn to elevate the angle of the projector. We're going to use it on this table. Then you notice it has four brass tapped screws and that's so that you could mount this to a ceiling mount. So the unit's in a standby mode when you power it. You can see it's blinking. And I'm going to be projecting on the wall right here. So I'm going to use the uh, remote to turn it on. So I have the projector on an exaggerated angle to demonstrate a couple things. On the screen you could see that because of that angle it's got it's not a rectangle it's a trapezoid. So we're going to first mechanically adjust that out. Then I'm going to show you how to do it electronically in addition to that. So on the side, as I showed, there is an adjustment right there. And we're going to turn that knob on the left. So there's the screen right there. You can see the extreme angle right there. Now we're going to turn that knob. And you can see I can adjust that out so that it is a rectangle. Now there is a menu option where you could get the keystone and you can see you have vertical and horizontal. So using the remote you can do the keystone right there. So you see it's turning it into a trapezoid. You can go the other direction too. So at first mechanically do the keystone and then you have further adjustment to give you a really wide range. Now if you move up to the horizontal calibration we're going to show that next. So now I've turned the projector on the end of the table so it is not centered anymore to the screen. 
And now you can see it's no longer a rectangle, that the right side is larger than the left side. So now we're going to take the remote and adjust that. So now you see I'm in the horizontal calibration and I have the remote. So I can lower that side down until it matches the other side. So by using the horizontal and vertical calibration, you can get the image to be or a rectangle. So now I have the camera pointed at the screen and I have the remote in my hand. Move along. You see we're at the bottom there, it says SD card, USB. So you put this on HDMI 2, HDMI 1, audio, video, or VGA. So you select the one that you want to have displayed. So you can have all those connected up and then it's going to just show the one that's on display. When you go all the way to the right, here, that's where you get to the setup menu. And there's where you have picture. You have picture mode standard, color temperature. You can change the color temperature, make it warmer or colder. You got the aspect ratio. Noise reduction is in the middle. And projector, you can reduce the display size right there. You have the projector, uh, projector projection direction. And then you have sound. You have a balance control right there. Auto volume control. And the next one you order is language, English, store factor defaults, blending and OSD duration, and keystone. A keystone is what I showed you, and that's those adjustments that we talked about. So I placed an SD card into the projector, and I selected the SD card, and I found the file, and now I can play. sounds really good. There's actually a decent amount of bass in the uh, audio. So there's a sample playing a Christmas video that's on the SD card and it looks nice. And there's a nice menu on the screen that, that you see when you hit the OK button. And you have pause. Maybe you go fast forward, backwards. Press forward, forward, previous, next, and then stop. So I went to the main menu, and I'm going to go to photo. And now it's showing me the pictures that are on the SD card. Now there's no audio assigned to that, but I am able to go through the pictures. And it does a nice little blending between the pictures. So that allows me to show pictures on the SD card as well as video. So now I have an, a uh, USB memory stick on the projector. And I have some video and some pictures on there. And we're going to test that. So here you can see I changed the source to USB. You can see that the source now is USB right there and you have the video select. I've got two videos there loading it. And it's got that menu on the bottom where you can advance it. Or stop the video and go back to the menu. Resume play. Can you hear me say? So the camera is making it look more blue than it is. The color is actually uh, pretty, pretty accurate. It's pretty good. Now I went back to the menu and let's see if we can get to photos. 
on that disc there and and now it's going to display photos that are on that USB memory card and then it has a little software that transitions between the pictures quite nicely. So that's an example of using it using a memory card on the USB port so as opposed to the SD card so both of them work just fine. So, so here I have it in my um, little home theater now if you wanted to and I have a temporary can, little table right here I've got um, the HDMI the one shoulder, selected it's not going to show your bra straps unless you want it and I use the uh, right. so, keystone uh, to adjust it this is the and green this is going to a screen that is way. about six this feet diagonal navy. so and I'm going to shut the lights off let you see what it looks like by the way, the sound is really so good. Gary, this is a, uh, so it's very clear. Uh, it even has some bass to it. So here's so, the know, image. The the and was a wolf, very large, a perfect. It looks but nice. This is it. So look you know, for a $250 projector, you're I mean, getting something that's going to be able to work with 4K. So and this is a 1080p yeah. signal also, from what Comcast. What this, Carolyn, so this is coming right off a Comcast DVR. Is so this is very clear and it. very usable and super image. Camouflage. Yeah, I mean. Okay, so now that I've tested this out in my theater upstairs, USB card, SD card, pictures, video, and now Comcast DVR signal. I like this. This U U O brand 1080p projector model P6 is a good buy. It's pretty decent image. You're not going to beat it for the price and the fact that it will handle 4K and Dolby on that HDMI cable makes it a big plus. And the native resolution being 1080p, which means it's perfect for Comcast and other providers that broadcast in 1080p. So I'm going to give this product a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.